Anjo. Who oh, oh, give you authority? And tell you that you could have gone down and sent me here. And call my call man the name. You don't know your history. So let me be clear to all my friends and those otherwise that I respect and love Michael Manley and I value his work. Right now you're now we and stop it. Unstoppable, that means can't stop you. Unstoppable, now we're trained. Well, go on again, Unstoppable family. So people from time to time, we see persons come on social media and them disrespect the Prime Minister, Andrew Wallness. Some of them even take it as far as sending threats. Now, do I agree with that? Absolutely not. Because I am one who believes that a person has the right to express themselves or share their opinion, but do so in a respectable manner without a lot of profanity or even sending threats to your leader of the country. Right? Now, the most recent incident where we saw on social media was where persons was kind of upset and spoke out about the right honorable Andrew Olness, you know, stating some things about the former Prime Minister, Michael Manley. No persons found it upsetting and decided that they were going to vent about it on social media. Now, Andrew Wellness kind of responded, even though not directly to that person or anyone in specific, but him just give a general response, stating that he respects and loves the former Prime Minister, Michael Manley. So, viewers, let's jump in right now and take a listen to what Andrew Wellness has to say. You know, I'll tell you, a story and this is a true story the 22nd of July 1972 is the year I was born I'm certain that Mr. Bunting knows the significance of that year very well that is the year Michael Manley won the elections in February of that year I believe and I was born in July. My father was elated by the victory of Michael Manley. Because like you and many other Jamaicans, he felt that the message of liberation, of political empowerment, which is described in our vernacular as the somatization of our country, that that was necessary coming out of colonialism. It was necessary to shake off the colonial mindset and to see ourselves as independent people. Michael Manley said, that we will walk on our two feet and not on our knees. I, Andrew Michael Holness, firmly believes in that. So when I was born, my father insisted on my mother that my name should be Michael. If he had his way, things may have turned out differently. But my mother insisted that my name should be Andrew, a faithful disciple. And uh, I am here as Andrew Michael. When I heard the furor created, when I did not call my godfather's name, and a man who I respect and study his work and believe still in his mission, I was taken aback and I did not respond because it is not appropriate and we should always as a country reserve a level of respect and dignity 
even if we are critical, we do so respectfully. So there are those who would want to create a difference between what I have said and the vision of Michael Manley. My father had a perspective on life. He, he, he is still a socialist. And we had raging debates about these ideologies. And that shaped my mindset. And it has indeed shaped how I have approached government. Because in everything we do, we must ensure that we strike the natural balance. And if things get to the extreme, they are usually dangerous. And I've long since come to the conclusion that there is a balance to be struck and a necessary recognition that if we are going to truly achieve our political independence, we must also achieve our economic independence. We must understand that there is no reward without work. During this period, there became a disconnection between those critical principles of success. We must also recognize that there is no success without sacrifice. And you can't disconnect these principles and expect success. So, as I stand here today launching this, commission. It is not to divide the nation or to engage a debate which I believe in the minds of the average man is settled. Not by who is the better debater, but what the results are and what have been said publicly and acknowledged by those who were participants at the time. So much of what I said relied not on my own understanding or my own thoughts, but what those who participated and have now had the 2020 vision of hindsight to have concluded. So let me be clear to all my friends and those otherwise that I respect and love Michael Manley. And I value his work and his contribution to making us who we are can never be devalued. And I want to, therefore, put that to rest. But we are now heading into a new era. And we must now be prepared to accept what it brings. So, and that was not on the teleprompter, by the way. Well, all right, the Prime Minister has made his speech, and that no read from the teleprompter, like him say, that come directly from him heart. The man say him respect the former Prime Minister, Michael Manley, and him no mean no disrespect in any way at all, so people can come up on that right now. I hear the man say, him lay that to rest right there. So that means him done with it. Him not going to talk about that again. Him not even going to pay no attention to none of that again. Right? I'm kind of like the fact that the man come out and actually address it. You understand? Because a lot of persons in them feelings. Read the comment section. I'm see where some of you agree with persons who are disrespect him. I'm also see where some of are defend him. And I say, yo, who can style the prime minister like that? Right? Because at the end of the day, he is the leader of the country. But Ramon, who do right now? 
out uh, to me down in the comment section. Let me know what you have to say pertaining to what the Prime Minister had to say right here in this video. This has been another one from Unstoppable TV. Like, share, comment, and definitely if this is your first time here and you have not yet hit the subscribe button, we are wait for Hit the subscribe button now and turn on all notifications. So once you upload a video, you will get notified. Until next time, no matter what, don't let nobody stop you. I'm unstoppable and I'm out. Right now you know we unstoppable. Unstoppable.